You know, I've been doing uh, wound care um, at uh, a couple of centers really since the middle 2000s. And uh, at that time, it was just standard swab culture. The data really didn't ever seem to match what we were seeing or felt clinically. One needs to go to the next step. And so we obviously went to the next gen sequencing. And within 24 hours, we typically get a prelim back. And within 72 to 96 hours, I get my phase two back and it tells us then what direction to go. Now we can topically use appropriate antibiotics, including antifungals, including hitting the anaerobes and aerobes, depending on what the next-gen sequences tell us, and we target it beautifully. For me, you know, um, the micro-gen, you know, next-gen sequencing for looking for bacterial resistance is, is, is just gonna be, it's gonna be a revolution in some respects because I think we're gonna be able to target quicker, better, faster. And again, not sit here and guess, well, let's try this. Oh, they had a resistance and you know, blah, 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 blah. So I think, I think these stories uh, of what's happening to microbiology versus their traditional culture is, is kind of changed dramatically. And it already has in wound care and other people are just catching up to that. I presented this at one of the family practice department meetings and they go like, how come we're not using this? And I think that's a very fair question. I said, why aren't you using this? In terms of cost versus time versus pain and suffering and things to patients, it's well worth it. And in our cost value analysis has not been a, at all a loss. It's been a very positive thing to our patients and our system. It confuses me as why people would push back. Is it a financial interest? Um, is it the hospital won't move? Is it the fact that they haven't kept up with the literature? Some people tell me that a routine culture is a standard of care in wound care, and I will disagree with that statement. In today's world, I would say, based on all the guidelines out there, if you're not using a PCR probe, you know, next-gen sequencing, I think you're, you're behind the time. Biofilm is out there. It's been well identified in the wound care world, and if wound care specialists ignore it, they're just not gonna end up with the same outcomes. Moving from culture to DNA next-gen sequencing is just a natural evolution in terms of resolving your biofilm problem and getting patients healed quicker.